Hey guys, welcome back to FedEx Gaming's Redstone Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm showing you guys how to build my piston door secret room. So we have right here just a very simple piston door that anyone pretty much can make. We just hit the pressure plates. We can walk right through if we want to. However, if we want to go into our secret room, all we have to do is just hit the pressure plates. As you can see, you can't see anything. Just stand right in the middle, let it close on us, and then just jump. So you just got to jump up. There we go. Jump, jump, jump. And now we are up in our secret room right here. All I have in my secret room is just a bunch of stuff that i want to keep hidden from my friends of course you can put whatever you would like up here i mean you don't have to have just a small little room you can make it go off that way and have a big room up here but when we are ready to leave we just click this button our door opens up right here we jump on down and we hit these pressure plates and it closes behind us now of course you can see that i use stairs here you do have to use either stairs or glowstone it makes it the easiest way to get through actually let me take out the glowstone and show you what it looks like with the glowstone it makes it the easiest way to get into it you can use normal blocks but then it's a lot harder to get into it because pretty much what happens is you're going to face through the block and you won't get hurt by glowstone or stairs so it'll, it'll close on top of you and then all you have to do is just jump up like that and you can go right inside see very easy now like i said you can use normal blocks but it's a lot harder to use them i'm going to show you them with the normal blocks as well though gotta go like this now the the way you have to do it with normal blocks is you have to stand right in the middle and then you have to time it just right to jump so pretty much like one two jump oh i missed it okay so one two there we go see i jumped up and i got into it it's a lot harder to do it but of course you can use normal blocks if you want to all right guys let's start building this thing all right guys so for this build we're going to need a 10 by 3 spacing we're also going to have to dig down two however we do need to dig down three in just a few areas so just make sure you have enough room to dig down three so you can just build this straight off of flatlands for this build we're going to need six sticky pistons two regular pistons six redstone torches 17 redstone dust five redstone repeaters four pressure plates and a button to get down of course from the top we're also going to need five stone slabs one piece of sand some blocks to put our redstone down on for my for my blocks choice, i'm going to be using quartz as my seal uh, as my walling and smooth sandstone as my flooring as you can see quartz for my walling smooth sandstone for my flooring and then we're also going to need blocks for our door we're going to need four glowstone and you can use that or you can use four stairs or you can just use four regular blocks we're actually also going to need two slabs that match our flooring as well so just have slabs that match your flooring so you can mean if you're using wood it, it, everything has a slab pretty much so once you got your 10 by 3 spacing and you've dug down your two come to the bottom left hand corner and count over five blocks so one two three four five put dust here here and then just go all the way up like this make a three by two spacing like so then coming out of the middle dust right here we're going to delete three blocks off both sides so one two three same thing on this side one two three and we're going to put redstone dust down in all these blocks Next, we're going to do is just put a block right in the middle of the dust on the dug down area. And then we're going to put a slab coming off the side of it upside down. Make sure it's upside down like that. Not like this. Like that. And do the same thing on this side. Ooh. Next, put redstone dust on top of both these slabs. And put a repeater coming out of them on two ticks delay. Next, what I want you to do is put a torch on. You know, I'm going to change these blocks out to actually this because it's going to be part of the redstone circuit. So I'm going to just change those out real quick. Put torches on top of both these blocks like so. And then blocks on top of the torch and torches on top of the blocks like that and we're just going to do that on this side as well and then we're going to come back to this one because we're going to this is going to be later on for later on next what i want you to do is put a block in front of these two tick delay repeaters like so and put a torch on top of them as well and then put a block on top of both the torches Oop and boop. and that's going to be our piston door right there so we're going to put our sticky piston facing this way off our torch and our block and do the same thing on this side porch block and that's going to be right there our piston door so actually let's put in our flooring real quick as well i'm going to put my flooring in right now so take out your flooring blocks so i'm going to put two regular blocks right above these two pieces of redstone dust and these two and then in the middle one what we're going to do is put our slabs right here upside down because if we put a regular block it's going to cut off the circuit right here which we do not want and then we can go ahead and actually put in our door i'm going to just use glowstone for this build so i'm going to put glowstone like that Next, if you want, you can put your slabs in so now your door can open up if you hit the slab. See, it opens up like a regular piston door. Like that. Next, what I want you to do is put sticky pistons on top of these three sticky pistons, these two sticky pistons right here. So put a sticky piston here, a sticky piston right here, and then you can put whatever block you want right here. This is just going to be the ceiling for your uh, door. So you're going to put a block right here and a block right here in front of your sticky piston. Next, all we have to do is bring power from this off torch up to this sticky piston right here. So we're going to get rid of this and put, take out our lime wool again. So put a block right on top of your off torch. Dust on top of the block. 
and then right next to the sticky piston we're going to put another slab upside down with dust on top of that now the reason why you can't just put a block right here is because it'll activate this pop bottom sticky piston as well destroying it you know i'll just show you so on this side if you come up a block see now if i hit this actually it closes see you don't want people seeing up there knowing that there's a secret area up there so before it opens up this closes so people can't see it so now like i said you can't just put dust right here and put a block like this because it will also act it will pretty much like bud this uh piston right here so watch see so you can't do that and i tried getting around it. i wanted to make it a lot easier but you really just can't get around that budding so let's just put our slab right here dust so now we click this our ceiling closes before the door opens up so no one will notice anything there and we'll just walk through without giving second thought about your being a secret room up there next we're pretty much that's pretty much it actually <laughs> so if we just put our ceiling in actually right now i keep saying actually and i hate when i say that so let's take out our ceiling block not my pants block my ceiling block and we put blocks like so boop boop and put some blocks like this there we go and we hit it like oh you know what? let me just go like this real quick this will make it a hundred times easier on me if i just go like this there we go so now if we go in it opens up like a normal piston door and we can walk on out however if we want to go into our secret room we hit it stand in the middle and then we just jump up hey there we go <laughs> just jump up into our secret room now we can't put a block above these pistons right here because like i said this will create a bud if i put a block right here it'll create a bud keeping this open like that so we can't do that so what i do right here is i just put some glowstone right here or you could put stairs as well you could put stairs there as well if you really want to i like just putting glowstone there because you're going to need light up there anyway so i'm going to just go ahead now and fill this whole area in because like i said you don't have to make it a super small room but i'm just gonna you know i'm just gonna go like this i'm just gonna put blocks up like this on both sides like that beautiful now you want to make a course you want to make your button to get out of this area once you are done so now you can either you could choose any side you really want to for your button you can go uh let me just take out the stuff i'm going to need for here so you can put your your button either here here or here or here like that you can put your button on any one of those blocks right there so i'm going to be going with this one right here so i'm going to delete all these buttons just choose whatever way whichever side you want it on i'm going to go right here with my button and then right here we're just going to put a regular piston facing downwards off this block so if i click the button the piston activates and then we're just going to put a few blocks of choice in front of that because this is going to be our walling block you will be able to see these blocks so you're just going to put a bunch of walling blocks down like so then right here where this on torch is we're going to be putting a slab upside down so all you have to do is just put a block right here and then put a slab off to the side upside down delete this block and put dust right here it should activate because this redstone torch is sending power to this block thus activating this dust next we're going to do is just delete down this block right here and put another regular piston facing upwards with our piece of sand on it so take out your piece of sand and put it right here like that and then make sure there's no block right here there can't be a block right here next to the dust so now when i click the button actually i am not done yet actually <laughs> so we're going to put a block off to the side of the sand block now with a repeater coming out of it on one tick delay and then we're going to put a block in front of our repeater there we go so now when i click the button it pushes the blocks down thus opening up the door but then when i click the, the pressure plate it puts it back up and closes the door see so click it this will send power to here opening this side of the door and then when we click it it closes it and that's it guys you are completely done that is the entire build so now all you literally have to do is just clean it up and make it look nice so just go like that as you can see you can't see anything right here it's completely hidden so when this comes down boop, come on there we go. it's completely hidden and then it doesn't really matter once you do it anyway because once you walk out it just resets itself anyway so you can put whatever blocks you want here so it doesn't really matter so we're just gonna make it look nice before we uh head on out it's completely done though you're completely done you don't have to stick around watching me clean it up if you don't want to <laughs> but it is completely done so i'm just gonna go like this put some blocks in right here we want to hide all our redstone of course you don't want to see all this stuff there we go put some redstone here here like that let's hide it and there it looks all nice except for this side the side still looks like <laughs> so, you know, whatever let's just do this side as well why not why not let's make the, the video longer for no reason whatsoever do 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 fill that in some blocks like that 
making the video longer for no reason. There we go. I'm just going to go like that. So now when we click our pressure plates and we stand right in the middle, our glowstone closes on us. We jump on up into our secret room. You can have whatever you want here. You can have a big room. You can have a small room. You can have a secret chest up here. It doesn't really matter. But when you're ready to leave, you just click this button, fall on down, hit this pressure plate, and it closes behind us. And that is the entire build, guys. Like I said, of course, you don't have to use glowstone if you want. You can use regular blocks. But the only way it works is if you pretty much just stand right in the middle. You open it up and count to like two. So one, two. Oh, oh, there we go. See, I got it. So pretty much it's just like one, two, and then jump up. So I'll do it one more time. One, two, and jump. There we go. So you can use regular blocks, but it's it's harder to do. I, I kind of I kind of recommend just using glowstone or using stairs like I did over here. I mean, it looks nice with the stairs. <laughs> so that's it, guys. That's the entire build. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave it a like and subscribe. Stay tuned with my newest videos. All right, guys. Peace.